The First Book of Chronicles, Chapter 27. Now the number of children of Israel, after their number, to wit, the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that served the king in any matter of the courses, which came in and went out month by month throughout all the months of the year, of every course were 24,000. Over the first course for the first month was Jehobim, Jashobim, the son of Zebdiel. In his course were 24,000. Of the children of Perez was the chief of all the captains of the host of the first month. And over the course of the second month was Dodai, an Ahite, and his course was Mikloth, also the ruler. In his course likewise were 24,000. The third captain of the host for the third month was Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, a chief priest, and in his course were 24,000. That is, that Benaniah, who was mighty among the thirty, and above the thirty, and in his course was Aminazabad, his son. The fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebediah, his son after him. And in his course were 24,000. The fifth captain for the fifth months was Shamhuath, the Israelite. In his course were 24,000. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira, the son of Achish, the Tekatite. And in his course were 24,000. The seventh captain for the seventh months was Helaz, the Pelonite, of the children of Ephraim. And in his course were 24,000. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sabikai, the Hushitite of the Zarahites, and in his course were 24,000. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Abizer, the, the Anatathite of the Benjamites, and in his course were 24,000. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai, the Netaphethatite of the Zarahites, and in his course were 24,000. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Beniah, the Pyrethonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty-four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was Heldai, the Netophilite, of Othniel, in his course were twenty-four thousand. Furthermore, over the tribes of Israel, the ruler of the Reubenites was Elzir, the son of Zechari, of the Simonites, Sephatiah, the son of Machak, of the Levites, Hashabiah, the son of Kemuel, of the Aronites, Zadok, of Judah, Elihu, one of the brethren of David, of Ishkar, Omri, the son of Michael, of Zebulun, Ishmaiah, the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Ezreal, of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Isaiah, of the half tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Pediah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh and Gilead, Ido, the son of Zechariah of Benjamin, Jaseel, the son of Abner, of Dan, Dan, Azrael, the son of Jeraham. These were the princes of the tribes of Israel. But David took not the number of them from twenty years and old and under, because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like the stars of the heavens. Joab, the son of Zechariah, began to number, but he finished not, because there fell wrath for it against Israel. Neither was the number put into account of the chronicles of the king of David. And over the king's treasures was Asmav, the son of Adil, and over the storehouses in the fields, in the cities, and in the villages, and in the castles was Jehonathan, the son of Uzziah. And over them that did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezrai, the son of Chelab. And over the vineyards was Shimi, the Ramathite. Over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Abdi, the Siphonite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Balhanna, the Gerdite. And over all the cellars of oil was Joash. And over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shetari, the Sharonite. And over the herds that were in the valleys of Shapat, the son of Adlai. Over the camels was Abel, Obel, the Ishmaelite, and over the donkeys were Jediah, the Maronite. 
Moronathite. And over the flocks was Jazes, the Hagarite. All these were rulers in substance, which was King David's. Also, Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, a wise man and a scribe. And Jehiel, the son of Hashmoni, was the king's sons. And Athithophel was the king's counselor. And Hushai, the actrite, was the king's companion. And after Ahithophel was Jehoadiah, the son of Benahiah, and Abathar, the general of the king's army, was Joab. Chapter 28 And David assembled all the princes of Israel, and the princes of the tribes, and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by course, and the captains over thousands, the captains over hundreds, the stewards over all the substance and possession of the king, and of his sons, and the officers, and with the mighty men, and all the valiant men, unto Jerusalem. Then David the king stood up on his feet, and said, Hear me, my brethren, and my people. As for me, I have had in my heart to build a house of the rest of the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and the footstool of our God, and am made ready for the building. But God said unto me, Thou shalt not build a house for my name, because thou hast been a man of war, and hast shed blood. Howbeit the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he has chosen Judah to be the ruler, and of the house of Judah, the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he liked me to make me king over all Israel. And of all my sons, for the Lord has given me many sons, he has chosen Solomon, my son, to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord of Israel. Lord over Israel. And he said unto me, Solomon thy son, he shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. Moreover, I will establish his kingdom forever, if he be constant to do my commandments and my judgments as at this day. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, Keep and seek for all your, the commandments of the Lord your God, that you may possess this good land and leave it for the inheritance for your children after you forever. And thou, Solomon, my son, know that the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind, for the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Take heed now, for the Lord has chosen thee to build the house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. Then David gave to Solomon his son the pattern of the porch, and of the house thereof, and of the treasuries thereof, and of the upper chambers thereof, and of the inner parlors thereof, and of the place of the mercy seat, and the pattern of all that he had in the spirit of the courts of the house of the Lord, and of all the chambers round about, of the treasuries of the house of God, and of all the and of the treasuries of the dedicated things. Also for the courses of the priests and the Levites, and for all the work of the service of the house of the Lord, and for all the vessels of the service in the house of the Lord, he gave of gold by weight for things of gold, for all instruments of all manner of service, silver also for all instruments of silver by weight, for all instruments of every kind of service, even the weight of the candlestick of gold, and for their lamp of gold, by weight for every candlestick, and for the lamps thereof, and for the candlesticks of silver by weight, both for the candlestick and also for the lamps thereof, according to the use of every candlestick. And by weight he have gold for the tables of shewbread for every table, and likewise silver for the tables of silver, also pure gold for the flesh hooks, and the bowls, and the cups, and the golden basins. He gave gold by weight for every basin, and likewise silver by the weight for every basin of silver. And for the altar of incense refined by gold by weight, and gold for the pattern of the chariot of the cherubs that sp spread out their wings, and covered the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this, said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me, even all the works of this pattern. And David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and of good courage, and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. 
until thou hast finished all the work of the service of the house of the Lord. And behold, the courses of the priests and the Levites, even they shall be with thee for all the service of the house of God. And there shall be with thee for all manner of workmanship, every willing, skillful man, for any manner of service. Also the princes and the people will be holy at thy commandment. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.